Hey guys, Toast again from Fish Yacker. Here's something I picked up for $7.50 off of eBay. If you're into filming when you're fishing or taking trophy shots or just interested in photography or videography in general, this one's actually a winner. So guys, if you follow a lot of the bigger name YouTube channels like Casey Neistat and all those guys, you know that octopus pods, octopus tripods, gorilla pods, whatever you want to call them, are really the rage right now. Actually been for the last few years. Uh, you can pay anything from 25 bucks to a couple hundred bucks for a quality one. This is one I kind of stumbled into. I thought I'd share it with you. I'll put the link down below uh, in the description here of the video. But uh, it's one of the larger size octopus or uh, gorilla pods that you're going to find out there. It's really a sturdy quality too. Again, $7.50 free shipping. Just uh, typically going to have to pay tax on it. But uh, here's the uh, listing for it right now. Uh, still listed at $7.50. There are some smaller sizes on here available. Uh, they're rated by how much weight they'll hold. There's a smaller size of 500 gram than a 1200 gram, but this is a 3000 gram one. So this is Octopus Flexible Gorilla Pod, uh, Tripod Stand for GoPro, Canon, Nikon, Digital Camera CN. Again, it's uh, $7.50. The seller didn't have the greatest uh, feedback on it, but still has 97.5%. Uh, there's not a whole lot really to show you on here, other than what I'll show you right here. Uh, the smaller versions of this, I don't know how good they are, but this is the bigger version. They're saying this one's actually 23 centimeters tall, but uh, I wasn't expecting very much, especially at that price, right? But uh, taking a look at it, the one thing I noticed, uh, it does have the quarter 20 on top. It actually has an adapter, I think, to a, th I forget what it is, maybe 3 eighths or something like that. But it's got a, uh, basically a screw-on adapter, but I mean, I'm probably never going to use it anyway because everything I have is uh, either a GoPro style or quarter 20. Because as you've seen in the, in the videos, I usually convert my GoPros into a quarter 20 thread pattern anyway. Uh, the, but the, again, the, the biggest thing that I wish this had was some type of locking mechanism in here or a detachable head, mount head. But it doesn't, so you're basically just going to, you know, screw down your camera on it and uh, line it up appropriately. The head is, is fixed. So nothing you can really do about that. And it's actually inside here is just a Phillips head screw that's actually through it there. Now I noticed at first it kind of was coming loose a little bit, so I put a little dab of super glue in there just to hold it still. Otherwise, as you're spinning the, the camera on it, it's just going to spin that loose. But uh, you may not have that issue. But uh, the thing that uh, I really like is the tension here on the arms, on the legs on it. It really does stick and bite in. I don't know about having used, having used this for several years, it's still going to do that. But uh, it feels really stiff and actually really good quality, especially for less than 10 bucks. Uh, but you've got total movement of these three arms on it. Again, a lot of the uh, guys that have, have channels typically just use it as almost like a grip to hold their camera. But the white sections, as you see on here, even at the top, that's all kind of a silicone rubberized uh, feeling to it. Uh, the black areas are all hard plastic but again the, the white areas are rubberized and really soft and grippy even these uh, caps on the end of the, the uh, feet here as you can see there it, it does have some grip and some bounce to it so this thing flexes all around you can wrap it around a tree you can use it as a regular tripod you can use it as a grip anything you can think of uh, for instance on the kayaks you can wrap it around stuff to uh, get shots from the shore or on top of the kayak itself. But that's actually a big winner. One of the coolest things I've actually picked up lately off of eBay. Like I said, I'll put the link down below it. But if you're used to filming yourself on the water or taking still shots or travel with cameras or anything or you just want something to stick in a, a piece of your luggage or your travel, you're keeping your truck or your car uh, for taking photography, this is actually really cool and it's an awesome, awesome price for it. Uh, and it 
least on uh, first impressions here, seems to be really, really good quality, especially for that price. For probably a third of what you're often going to find it for at minimum. But uh, again, $7.50, free shipping, probably going to have to pay shipping on, pay tax on it, that is, right now. But uh, that's a win, and you can actually, because it's a larger size, the axe size, it actually does hold. I'm pushing the down pretty hard on it there. <clears throat> Only a little bit of, of slide on the uh, tips there, on the feet. But uh, that's going to hold a pretty substantial, probably even hold a DSLR uh, pretty easily. DLSR. So, yeah. So, any if you're using especially a GoPro or you can put an adapter on there for a cell phone, no problem whatsoever. But uh, even a larger camera, that's going to hold it. It's pretty substantial and pretty beefy. I like it. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. Uh, let me know what you want to want to you know see next time. If you like it, let me know too. Give us that thumbs up on the video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. We'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.